So now we have our second VM talking to our Indian firewall on a private network just between the two of them, right? So this is, for this virtual machine right here, for this Windows 7 virtual machine, its gateway is now this Indian firewall device. And we've su successfully set up a scenario whereby the second virtual machine is communicating through the Indian firewall device. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use this client to finish configuring the Indian firewall for the initial setup, essentially. So we'll just highlight it here. I'll close this window. And we'll walk through the configuration wizard. So we'll select this. OK, and you can see that we have to choose our language. So it says, please select language, English, uh, time zone. We'll pick our time zone. And we'll hit Next. And we need to accept the license agreement. And we'll hit Next. And if we want to, we can maximize this a little bit so you can see it better. Do we want to restore a back from a backup? We'll say no, we don't have a backup to restore from. All right, and then we have to put a password. So we'll put in our password and got to put it twice. Okay, now the first two passwords are from the web administration tool that we're using right now, essentially. And then the second set of passwords is for secure shell access or root access into the device. So this is admin access and this is root access. So we'll put in another set of passwords here. You could use the same set if you'd like. And hit next. All right, and now what we need to do is we need to talk about our um, network setup wizard. We have to run through our network interfaces. So the first interface that we need to set up is our red zone or our WAN interface. Well, since our firewall device right here, Indian firewall that's pointing to the outside towards the internet is picking up an IP address automatically from my wireless router here on my home network, I'm going to leave this WAN port right here on the Indian firewall to pick one up through DHCP. So I want it to pick up an IP address automatically. So we'll say Ethernet DHCP and we'll hit Next. And then do we want to set up an orange and a blue zone, a DMZ, and let's say also a wireless zone? We'll say no for now. We don't want to necessarily set that up right now. So we'll say no. We'll just click Next. And now our green zone. Now the default is 192.168.0.15 address for the Indian firewall. We'll keep the default and we'll go down here and we'll, you can see the interface is already selected that it's going to connect on. And we'll accept the default. Okay, and then the red interface will be the other interface. So we have to select that, the red. So we'll take interface two. Now we can set the man maximum transmission unit if we want to, but it's best just to accept the default. We're not going to spoof our MAC address. And then for DNS, we'll do the DNS automatically. So we should be picking up DNS information from our wireless router on our network. So we'll hit Next, and we'll hit Next. And then in this window, we can set up some administrative emails if we have them. So we put in our admin email. Uh, who the email is coming from. If we want to get messages from the Indian firewall, let's say there's an emergency or an interface goes down or some process is, is troubled or there's been a, um, an intrusion, then the Indian firewall device has been configured to send an email to the administrator. So we're just going to skip it for now. And then we'll click OK to apply the configuration. And all right. And so the configuration is being applied, and then the Indian firewall device is going to basically restart. And when it restarts, we'll be met with a dashboard or a login screen. So we'll wait for that. You can see here that it's already seeing some activity here. You can see the restart happening the Indian firewall is restarted and you can see that the boot process is happening right on the restart so you can see the, 
the process is loading and there is the Windows security so now we have to put in our administrative username which is admin and then the password that we set up for ourselves and we'll click OK alright and you now have access to an Indian firewall community version and you can see here the most recent version and now you have a router firewall device that you can configure and use as a virtual firewall on a virtual network on your computer right and all you see on the on the actual device is just this right this is the this is all you're going to see from the device right here but from our client we manage the device we manage the Indian firewall from our client computer over here status let's look at the system and see that the IP address that we picked up from my wireless gateway from my wireless router here on my home network is 192.168.2.118 so this is the WAN port basically for the router and then on the inside what we can do is let's go to um, let's see here let's go to services and you can see DHCP right and we can set up DHCP on the LAN side so we'll open this up and we'll say enabled and we'll set the starting address to be 192.168.0.100 and we'll put the ending address to be 192 168.0. let's say 150 so it's going to hand out addresses 100 to 150 we'll hit save All right okay we'll open this up and you can see the information that it's going to hand out it's going to hand out the default gateway of the wireless router 0.15 of not the wireless router of the Endian firewall device so it's going to hand out itself as the default gateway and it's going to hand out itself as the DNS if we want to put in a secondary DNS we can all right let's save all all right and there it is let's see if we can pick up a lease and then see that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this window and I'll go back to this local area connection we'll go to properties and we'll go to TCP IP version 4 and go to properties and we'll change it we'll get rid of our static IP address configuration and go to automatic and then also go to automatic for DNS and click OK and then close and then close and you can see that the device is now looking for an IP address we'll say this is a work network we want to communicate we'll hit close and you can see that we've probably picked up an IP address. Let's take a look. We'll go back to our Indian firewall device, refresh the window. All right, there it is. And if we scroll down now, let's see here, I'm going to close this and close this. And we scroll down, you can see that we've actually picked up a lease, right? Test user PC, that's our Windows 7 machine we've picked up a lease, an IP address from the Indian firewall and our IP address is now 192.168.0.150 go like this IP config open up a command prompt that is so start CMD and then type in IP config and you can see that we've picked up an IP address from the device not only that another test, another good test, is to see if we can actually get out to the internet now so we'll go to yahoo.com and you can see that we've actually reached yahoo.com so now our Windows 7 client is communicating with the internet through the Indian firewall device, it's picked up an IP address from the Indian firewall device through DHCP client and we basically have a private network set up with the Indian firewall as the gateway proxy between this Windows 7 VM and the internet. So we've set up this scenario and it's working.